Hey, welcome to Color Up. Today we're going to look at a high action, so it's a lot of fun, but it's actually, even though you have a lot of money out, it's a relatively low risk strategy, but it does provide a decent chance of winning a good amount of money for a nice color up. So let's go ahead and check out the growth strategy. So this is a strategy I looked at probably four or five years ago, and I'll link to the actual original creator's video down below. But because of DiceCon coming up this June, I'm gonna be playing with a lot of guys and we're gonna be playing a lot. Um, I still don't have thousands and thousands of dollars for a bankroll, so I'm gonna be able to, I'm going to need to be able to play for long periods of time. So, you know, I need to stay at a relatively low risk strategy, um, but I do wanna have a lot of fun and be, make some bets. So that's why I'm revisiting this growth strategy today. So let's go ahead and just see how it works out. I'm gonna look at this at a $10 table because that's most likely what I'm gonna be facing. And this strategy starts with $10 on the dome. Now, he'll, you'll see why it's called growth. Um, you start with 10 and then you have 20 and then 30 or one unit, two unit, three unit. So with the don't pass, we're trying to get past the come out roll and look for a point to be established. It doesn't really matter too much what it is. I mean, it'd be nice if it's the four and 10, but it is what it is. All right, so once the don't, we're going to make an additional single unit or $10 come bet. We're just trying to get another number. The nice thing about this is a seven will actually get us paid on both. So that dreaded 0.7 is actually a benefit for this strategy. So if another number rolls, let's say it's the six, we'll, it, the, our come bet will travel to the six. At this point, we're going to add three units or $30 in odds. So $30 on our six. So to hedge that a little bit, and now it's not cons quite a hedge because I don't believe it's a hedge if you can win both bets. But we're going to now move to a $20 come bet. So we have $10, $20, and then $30 in odds. So we're kind of growing here. Now we've got a nice healthy bet on the six. We'd love for that to hit, but if it doesn't, we get paid 20 for the seven here and 10 for the seven here. So we wouldn't lose too much. Not very much is at risk. If another number rolls, let's say it's the nine, our come bet will travel to the nine. And again, we're gonna do three units or $30 in odds on our nine. And then again, we'll do $20 coming. Again, this offsets in case the seven happens, but doesn't quite cut it. So what, at this point, when we have two points up, we're actually going to lay odds on our don't. You can lay whatever you're comfortable with. I'm going to be laying $60 in odds for this video. So on the point of four, 60 is gonna win 30 at a one to two payback. So we've got some great bets up here, but if the seven does roll, we win 20 here, 30 here, 10 here. So 40, we have $60 if the seven rolls. So that won't hurt us too bad. Now, obviously we don't wanna roll the don't and hit our point because then we're gonna be out the $70. So it'd be great if the six or nine rolls and we could just get paid. Um, but you know, this is probably going to at some point go up to another number. Let's say it goes up to a 10. At this point, we're not gonna add any odds. We're just gonna roll uh, the original creator, Brett called it two and a half points. So he's got two with odds and then one without odds. At this point, you just roll it out and you're trying to get that six, nine, and 10. Anytime a number gets rolled, you'll just come back through the come. For instance, if the nine rolls, this would pay $65, and then we would just make a $20 come bet. We would get our odds, because we want two points with odds, we'd get our odds on the 10, $30 in odds, and then we'd go back, we'd rack the rest, and we'd go back through the come to try and get our two and a half, you know, our additional or third point. So that'd be great, we keep cycling numbers. Now, if we keep winning and collecting money, we can always increase our odds bets. For instance, here we have a $20 flat bet, we have 30 in odds, we could actually go up to $60 in odds, even at a three, four, five times table. So if you're, if you're repeating numbers, there is a lot of opportunity for growth in the strategy. But again, at any point, you really, even though there's plenty of money out here, you don't have a huge amount of risk because we're always coming through the come or we have our lay odds working for us. Now, why I don't consider this a hedge strategy, I, I call them hybrid strategies, is because every bet can win. For instance, in this particular situation, we can roll an 11, that wins, then we can roll the 10, and that wins, we could roll the six, 
and then we could finally roll the seven and this win and get paid. So everything, if the dice roll just right, everything could win. To me, I'm not a big hedger, but I would consider like a bet on the pass line. And then a lot of people will make an, any craps bet. I consider that a true hedge because both of them can't win. Uh, one's going to win and one's going to lose. And that's just, you know, that's just the fact of how the bets are. So there's no way to win both of them. Earlier I mentioned DiceCon. I don't remember if I explained it, but it's a convention for my club members. Um, and uh, if you're interested in more details, uh, obviously become a Color Up Club member and we can get you all the details you'd like to know about DiceCon. All right, I'm gonna try this with a $300 bankroll. And today I'm actually gonna use some brand new dice. These are blue and they're serial coded 22 for the year. I, I keep the first ones and I sell these on my website. Now the members, I got some left. Uh, when you're seeing this video, if you see it late, they're probably sold out. They sell very quick, but they will be on sale tomorrow. This video is coming out on a, two, uh, on a Monday. Uh, you'll see them for sale on my website on Tuesday. As soon as they sell out, I order new ones. They usually take about three months to manufacture. My next colors coming in are red and black, but I sell them to my members first. So green member get a chance, then red member, and they've already bought uh, 50 or 60 of them. So by the time you see this video, there are either, there might be a few left. So check them out, my website, colorup.club, um, or they're gonna be sold out. They go very quick. I only order 100 of each color for the year. So that's how it goes. All right, new dice. Shake these guys up. Oh, they are sharp. And then they have my logo on them. All right, um, let's get $10 on the don't. Coming out, here we go. Yo, 11, that's no good for a don't. So seven or 11 is a loser. Two, three is a winner. Push on the 12 or bar the 12. It's all right, we'll just replace it and see if we can get a new point. Nine, point is going to be nine. See how they're grabbing and bouncing weird? That's what new dice do for you. All right, point is nine. So for our first bet, we're just gonna make a one unit bet on the come. Let's see what happens, here we go. 10, 10 the hard way. Come bet's gonna travel to the 10. At this point, we're gonna take $30 and ask the dealer to place $30 in odds. And then we're gonna place another 20 in the come. So we have 10, 20, and then 30. So you can, it kind of helps you remember. That's the kind of the sequence you'll always have. All right, here we go, shooter. Four, easy four. Comes gonna travel to the four. Again, dealer, let's have 30 in odds, please. And then we're gonna put 20 in the come. At this point, because we've got quite a bit of money up here, we're gonna actually make a lay bet, lay odds of 60 against the nine. So 60 to win 40 in this instance. All right, shooter, let's see that four or 10. No, not gonna happen, seven. All right, but the seven doesn't hurt us too bad. All right, so these are gonna come down and lose. We're gonna win 20 in our com. Our $60 bet is going to win 30, 40, and our flat is gonna win 10, and the puck is gonna come off. So we didn't lose a whole bunch of money there. That's the low risk part of it. But we had some good healthy bets up there and that is the high reward part. All right, new shooter, we're gonna get down for $10 on the don't. We'll dump the bowl, shake up these brand new sharp dice and see what happens. Here we go, coming out. Nine, Neener nine, center field nine. It's gonna be our point for the first bet. We're just gonna make a single unit come bet, see what happens. And we hit our point right back. So we lose on our don't. Our come bet's gonna travel to the nine. Our puck is gonna come off. Now we're dealing with the same shooter. We'll just go ahead, get back in the don't. Come bets are always working, they're contract bets. So here we go. Eight, eight easy. Eight's gonna be our new point. So we'll mark that up and we'll try to get back into our strategy. So we want odds of 30 dealer on my nine. And then we'll get 20, so 10, 20, 30, and the come, and 
we're ready to go. Seven out. That was a quick one. So again, we lose this. And here we're going to win 20 and then 10 for this. So we win 30. So not too bad a risk. We just lose $10. On a $10 table, you can't complain too much. All right, we're back on the don't. New shooter coming out. How are these new dice doing? I don't know. It seems like we've been hitting a few points. It's not working for the strategy yet. There's a three, three craps on the come out. So we'll just win a quick 10 there. And here we go. Nine. Nine's gonna be our point. The first step, we're just gonna make an equivalent one unit bet in the come and see what happens. Here we go. Nine point hit. Again, rolling points, but not great for the strategy because down come our don't. Come's gonna travel to the nine and puck was gonna go off. All right, we'll just get right back on the don't. Same shooter. Let's mix up these dice. Let's see something new happen. We want to win some for a change. Not gonna happen. The worst case, our don't loses and our established combat loses. All right, get back on the don't. Shooter, come on, help me out here. Help out the strategy. Seven on the come out. Don't go away. Just follow that up. How many times do you want to lose on the don't? I don't know, that's up to you. Five, five is going to be established as our point. First step, we'll just make $10 in the come. Here we go. And seven, this is actually good for us. The dreaded point seven, this is actually a good spot for this particular strategy. We win on the don't and we win in the come. So we'll just go ahead and rack. We got a little bit back there. Puck's gonna come off and we're gonna have a new shooter, so. All right, here we go. Six is gonna be our point, six easy. Go ahead and to start with, just $10 coming. And here we go. Five. Come bet's gonna travel to the five. Dealer, can I have 30 in odds, please? You can, we'll set that up. And then we're gonna put 20, $20 coming. 10, 20, 30 in odds, here we go. Five point hit. Now I can't pay these off and on because our flat bets are different. We got 20 coming and 10 coming off. So our odds are gonna pay 45, our flat is 10, so 55 and our new bet of 20 is coming on. So we'll go ahead and take their odds, odds on my five, and then we're gonna put $20 coming and then we'll just rack some green. Now let's, let, that'd be great. We could just roll those all day long. If you move the obstruction, that's gonna drop. They're gonna call that a three. So that's no good for the come. Two, three, and 12 are losers there. So quick 20 down the drain. We'll follow it right back up. See if we can get a better result. Five, there we go. Now in this instance, our flat bets are the same amount. So we can pay, the dealers are gonna pay you what's off and on. So we're gonna pay you 45 for the odds, 20 for the flat bet. So they're gonna pay you 65 off and on. So your bet just stays there and we just rack up the winnings. That's the part where we'd love to see all day. Here we go. Nine, all right, it's gonna move down to that sister number. So it's gonna to travel to the nine again, dealer. Can I have 30 in odds on my nine? And we wanna put $20 here. I don't have it. So dealer, can I have some change? $20 coming. So five out to the player, 20 coming, and there we go. Now at this stage of the game, we, we really don't have enough of a, you know, a hybrid or hedge going, so we're gonna actually lay $60. In this case, we're laying against the six. Now many players hate this. They hate to lay the six and eight. They prefer like the four and 10. Four and 10, you lay 60 to win 30. Here you lay 60 to win 50. Yes, there's more ways to roll it, but you're getting paid fair proportional uh, for the risk you're taking. So who knows what the dice are gonna do? We're gonna find out. Shake them, bake them, let them go. Three craps, three craps, that's no good for the come. So we lose there in the come. 
Again, I need change. So dealer, can I have 25 coming? Sure. So five and change and 20 coming. And see what happens. Here we go. Let's give it a number we can work with. 10, 10 the hard way, that'll work. Come bet's gonna travel to the 10. Now we're just gonna leave that one flat. Um, we don't wanna risk any more money because we don't have enough if Big Red shows. So two points with odds and then a flat bet. So let's try and knock some of these numbers off first. Five, nine, or 10 shooter. Four, easy, that's not one of our numbers. Nine, there we go, we'll take that one. All right, this is gonna come down. We're gonna get our 30 is gonna pay 45, our flat's 20, so 65. And we're gonna do $20 coming. And then dealer, can I have $30 in odds? And then we'll rack the rest here. Rack some green. And we're right back kind of in this cycle. Here we go. Five or 10 would be great shooter. Eight, eight easy. $20 come back, it's gonna travel to the eight. And again, we're not gonna do odds. We have two points with odds already. So now shooter five, eight or 10, great numbers. Can we hit it? There we go, eight, right back. Too bad it's not a number with odds, but we'll take it. So it's gonna come down and get paid. Come bets have to come down. And so we'll just go ahead and rack 20 and we're right back in the same situation. All right, here we go. Eight, eight it apparently is great. So this is gonna come right back to the eight. And now you're thinking, hey, a place bet would have won twice there. Yeah, that's true. And they wouldn't have got paid with the seven. So, you know, come bets, place bets, that's a, uh, that's a different topic for another video, which we cover all the time. All right, there's that eight again. It's gonna come down and get paid. Again, only one to one, because it's come bet with no odds, but this is how the strategy is. So we'll just rack that and that'll stay in the come. I almost moved it. And we'll keep rolling. I mean, I don't mind collecting $20 every hand. And there's that seven. Again, this is not gonna hurt us too bad. This is where a place bet would lose, but the come bet actually gets a little rebate. Not that we ever want a seven, we want to keep rolling our, our numbers. But um, let's see, we're going to win 20 here in the come. Our 60 is going to win 50 for the odds and 10 in the flat. So we actually only lost $20. So not too shabby on a $10 table. So let's go ahead and rack all that up. And we'll get $10 on our don't. And new shooter, so we'll dump the bowl and see what happens. Here we go. 10, uh, 10 easy, 10's their point. We get $10 coming for the first roll and see what happens. Eight, eight easy, that's gonna travel to the eight. Rolling eights apparently. Dealer, at least we were gonna put some odds. Dealer, can I have 30 in odds on my eight? And this is the point I'm actually up, it looks like. Uh, you could start increasing these, either um, increasing starting with your odds bet See, for now, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try and get a little more profit first. So $20 coming, so 10, 20, 30 in odds. Get a little more buffer before I start betting more. Nine, a center field nine. This come will travel. Again, dealer, let's get $30 in odds. And then we'll do $20 coming. At this stage of the game, a lot of money up here. So we're gonna lay. We're gonna lay 60. What point are we on here? The 10, so 60 to win 30. So again, we're not too worried about big red, but we're really shooting for eight and nine would be great. There's the nine, there we go. Our flat bets are the same, so the dealer's just gonna pay you off and on. We're gonna get 45 for the odds, 20 for the flat, so 65. So 65 off and on. We just rack that up and hope to hit another one. Here we go, loving it. That's where it gets fun. Eight, eight hard. Our flat bets are different, so this, this, this is gonna have to come off. So we're gonna get um, 36 for our odds, 10 for the flat, so 46. Did I do that right? Yeah, 36, 46. 25, 45, 46. And the new come bet's gonna travel. Uh, we'll ask the dealer 30 nods on our eight, and then we're gonna keep 20 in the come. And again, 
we can rack some more here. All right, now we'd love to hit eight and nine. We'll just keep going off and on all day. Nope, not gonna happen. That's all right, five, it's a good number. We'll take it. It's gonna travel to five. We have two with, point, uh, with odds. The last one, he, he calls it two and a half points. So two with odds and one's gonna be flat. We don't wanna risk any more money. And we're gonna just see what happens, see if we can roll some back. Four. 10 uh, point hit, that's a bummer. But that's gonna happen sometimes, so that's all gonna come down. 70 bucks there. That's, a, that's an owie. Puck's gonna go off, and then we're gonna try and get back right into our strategy. We're gonna start with a don't and see what point we establish. Flat bets, contract bets, their come bets, they're always working. The odds follow the puck, they're off. All right, here we go. 12 craps. Fortunately on the don't, it's push on a 12. The only one with the two or the three. We've got an eight. Eight's gonna be our new point. We're gonna win a little bit here. So the odds just get returned to you, but we have $20 flat here. So we're gonna win $20 for our flat bet. Um, now we can ask the dealer, let's go 30 nods on our five. $20 coming and then we want, because of this, we're, we've got two up. One to come, we're gonna go ahead and lay. So let's go ahead and lay 60 to win 50 against the eight. Here we go. Seven, all right. Again, not gonna hurt us too bad. So down these bets come. We're gonna win 20 for the come. We're gonna win 50 for our odds, 10 for the flat. Again, we lose 20 here. I don't know if we won any money that time. We've got to roll, hit some numbers first. All right, we'll rack that up. Well, we won some there. Well, no, because we lost up here. I don't know where we're at, but it looks like we're still up a little bit. Let's take a quick look, actually. Um, one, two. Oh, yeah, there's our buy in of three. So we're at, and there's an, at least another 100 there. So we're up 100. So we could uh, increase our odds if we'd like to. Maybe we will. Yeah, we'll just play it one more time, uh, just as the kind of the strategy describes and see where we stand. Here we go. Seven on the come out. That's a quick loss for our don't. We'll just repeat our bet. See what happens. <laughs> seven, front line winner, seven on the come out. Uh-oh, we scared of this shooter? Nah. All right, here we go. Dice off the table, no roll. These new dice with the sharp edges going all over the place. That was a funny bounce, but we got a four for the hard way. And for the first roll, we're just gonna do single unit combat and see what happens. Here we go. Seven, all right, not a... We'll do one more roll because that one was so short, but that was actually a good one for us. We went on the don't and we went in the come. So we can rack that up. Puck's gonna come off and we're gonna have a new shooter. So 0.7 out, no harm. It's actually beneficial in this particular strategy. Here we go. Six is gonna be our new point. Go ahead and $10 coming to start with. Let's see what happens. Six, easy, point, hit. So we lose our don't. This comes gonna travel and the puck's gonna come off. Now we are the same shooter, so we'll just go ahead and make a new don't come bet, or don't pass bet, I should say. Coming out, same shooter. Eight, eight, easy. It's gonna travel, puck's gonna travel to the eight. Now we have a bet against the eight. Uh, $10 on the six, so dealer, let's get me $30 in odds, please and then $20 coming, so 10, 20, 30 in odds. All right, here we go. 10, 10 down there on the end, it comes gonna travel to the 10. Dealer, can I have 30 in odds? And again, we'll do 20 coming. At this stage of the game, we're gonna lay against our number. What are we laying against? The eight. Pay's good. Ah, but there's five ways to roll it. Let's see what happens. All right, we're looking for that six or 10 shooter. 
11 would be good too, but we got a seven. Again, not gonna hurt us too terribly bad. All right, what do we go here? So we win 20 there, we win 50 for our odds, 10 for a flat, we're out 10 bucks. All right, let's go ahead and uh, finish it there. So it's a lot of fun because there's a lot of moving parts, a lot of action. It's easy to mess up, so make sure you know what you're doing. But I'm thinking about playing this at DiceCon because it kind of keeps you in the game. Not a whole lot of risk, but you got some good healthy bets to win. All right, one, two, three hundred. So there's our buy-in. So this is all profit. And what do we got here? Uh, 25, 50, 75, 100. So we're at 400, 425, 435, 436. So let's color up real quick here. What do we got? Uh, four, 25, uh, 35. There we go, 436. All right, uh, I don't know. What do you guys think of the strategy? Let me know. Obviously, the dice have to roll in your favor, just like any strategy to win, but it seems like you got some good healthy bets out there on a $10 table. With not a whole lot of risk, and obviously we colored up a little bit today. And uh, yeah, if they're still available, go ahead and check out the 2022 blue color up dice. Till next time, good luck on coloring up.